friends, welcome back to the vlog channel. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, I look a little crazy. I'm still in my pajamas and robe. I've been working around the house today in my pajamas and um, cleaning up and stuff. And I just finished getting ready except for my lip color because I'm going to share that on a little like TikTok slash IG reel. Um, so I have to film that in a second, but I wanted to eat lunch first. Then I have to film. So it's busy. Lots going on. But I want to show you guys these lights. Hunter Primo shared them on her Insta. It's a little dark when I show them to you. They are so fun. This is the warm white. And they have like a bunch of different settings. But we love them so much. They're so cool. And it's dark and gloomy today, so I wanted to just have them on. Um, let me put the camera down though. I was gonna do this day a little different. I was gonna run my errands this morning and then like do my work stuff in the afternoon, but I started burning a candle and literally like five minutes after I started, I was like, no, why did I do that? Like it was the very first time I'm burning it. So you have to let it clean burn all the way to the edge. So I'm stuck until that thing burns. Um, so I wanted to update you guys. Last time we talked, I had told you guys we were going in for our anatomy scan. And I do want to say it is perfectly normal for moms to be nervous just in general during pregnancy um leading up to the anatomy scan i had a few people that tried to make me feel bad about that and like act like i was being irrational and i was like no ma'am we are not about to shame someone for being nervous about something that's normal uh, but i wanted to show you guys some of the cutest pictures this child's hands are the size of my younger brothers look at this you guys look at that hand that thing is so big. Even the ultrasound tech was like, your kid's hands are huge. And he was so, everything turned out great. Um, they didn't get a picture of his profile. We did get to see the bottom of his mouth. Um, so they knew no cleft palate or anything, but she still has to like check off that she got a profile picture and she didn't. So I have to go back at my 24 week when I get my glucose test to do a, another profile, which you ain't gonna hear me complaining. Anytime I get to see my baby, I am happy about it. Um, but she, he was so active in there. She like pushed at one point, the little thing, I don't know what it's called, um, down on my belly and he like bumped it with his butt. And then she was trying to get him to roll over. And so she like, was kind of like jiggling my belly. And he literally like started kicking her with his feet and just laid face down and like put his hands over his face. I was like, this kid is sassy. We have got our work cut out for us. So there's another picture of a hand, his brain, looked good but his head was measuring a big i think his head was measuring like four days ahead and i have a really big head so i was like of course his head's big why wouldn't his head be big he's my kid um this is one of him completely face down so let me see if you guys can see it that's his little face down there that's his back and then that's his leg she was getting him right here and he just kept kicking her and he just laid face down like he was having none of it and i was like wow sam he really is your kid he doesn't like the camera um, we got one of his face. He like looked face on. I'm not gonna show that one too. It's a little creepy. I asked her, I said, is it really, is it really bad if I say that's creepy? And she was like, no, it's really creepy when they look at you like face on. They don't have like fat to their face yet. So it was like, looked very skull like, really creepy. Um, and he showed us his boy parts very quickly. So all went good with the anatomy scan. Um, I am asking you guys for more prayers though. So, God, I'm throwing a lot at you in this vlog. Um, my younger brother, I'm not gonna share a ton about it because it is still, you know, his medical stuff and I don't know to what extent he's okay with me sharing his life on the internet. And also, um, I don't want any horror stories of things that happen. When I, I'm gonna preface with this, when I shared that Sasha had kidney failure back in September, uh, or not kidney failure, but she, she had really bad issues with her kidneys, I put on my Instagram stories, I said, please do not send me any sad stories, horror stories of your animals, because mentally I can't do that. I kind of take those bad stories and I run with them and it's really bad for my mental health. And honestly, it just makes me really sad to think of anyone in pain. And sure enough, people were still like out of the woodworks, just sending me left and right all of these stories. And I was like, I don't know what they think this does, but it makes me so sad and it does not help to just share these like, horrible, horrible stories of people sharing like how long and drawn out their animals deaths were because of their kidney issues. And I had asked like, please don't share sad stories with me. And they did it anyway. So I'm going to kind of share a little bit about what's going on with him, but not all of it. And I ask that you please <laughs> refrain from any bad stories about heart issues. Cause that's what we're going to talk about. So my younger brother, 
he's 24. I'll put a picture up of him right here. This was us um, at his wedding in May. He is very tall, so handsome, has the most gorgeous head of hair. His hair's a lot longer than it is here, like now. Um, he's just the sweetest thing ever. He like, he's the best. And he passed out, I think it was either, I wanna say it was actually Thursday. And we found out about, about it on Friday. Like he called after he'd kind of gotten some information. So he passed out, he wasn't feeling good. He said he just like, he was real hazy and he just passed out. And his wife is like this tiny little thing. She's half of his size. And so he said she thought he was joking and he woke up she was standing over him and she was like, what are you doing? Like she thought it was a joke. And so he went to the ER and they ran, um, they did like two, I think two CT scans. Both of those came back negative, thankfully. Uh, some x-rays, those came back negative, but they did find something in his EKG. And then they came in and said, you know, we really wanna do another EKG just to make sure that one, this is like what we got was correct and we didn't miss anything. And so they did the EKG and that's kind of a good news, bad news. They found the exact same issue twice. So that's definitely what it was that caused him to pass out. Um, they were able to very quickly say, you know, this is what caused you to pass out and this is what we think you have. And sad thing is, is if that is what he has, he was born with it. There's no way to get rid of it. Um, you can manage it with like medication and surgery, but he does have to go to the cardiologist on Thursday. So if you guys would just keep him in your prayers on Thursday, his name is Daniel. Um, he's my baby brother and I would take it if I could, but I can't. And you know, I'll throw hands with anybody who messes with my family, but you can't throw hands with a heart condition. So we're just praying that everything comes back good. The, the ER doctor that did kind of give him a quick, this is what I think is going on, um, seemed very positive about it. He was like, you know, I don't think it's gonna be an issue now. I think you're just having issues with it, but it can be an issue when you're older, um, which is scary. But I'm also, there's the other part of me who's trying to remain like sort of hopeful because I had really bad heart issues in college. And I went to the ER one time after almost passing out and they said, I think it was, um, he was very confident that I had, it was like Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, I wanna say is what it's called. He was very confident with that. He was like, I think this is what she's got. This is what causes it. This is what it is, blah, blah, blah. Go to the cardiologist. And when we went to the cardiologist, he was like, I see what he means, but that's actually not what you have. You have this, it's very mild, it will go away on its own, and it did. Um, so part of me is like, it's good that we may have found something, we found a reason. Um, and the other part of me is like, but maybe this cardiologist is gonna tell us something different. So Thursday, if you could just say a little prayer for Daniel, keep the Cooper fam in your prayers. Um, but we're optimistic, you know, he seemed good. He told me he feels a lot better now, it's just, he was having a bad day. So yeah, that's really what's going on. I have to make lunch now. Um, and then I'm going to run some errands after I film my video. I have to take some stuff to my mom, like clothes. And then I have to run to the grocery store. So busy day, but I'm gonna get Sam to sit down later and hopefully share the uh, names that we like but won't be using. If that is not in this vlog, it will be in the next one. And he doesn't really care about the name stuff. Um, as far as social media, like he and I definitely agree we will not be sharing our child's first name. But I'm gonna see if he's cool with sharing his middle name. I actually don't like his middle name that much. It's not a bad middle name. I'll explain the story why when we get to it. But I still am advocating or something different. We'll explain later, but we'll see. Sam really likes it, so I don't care. It's in one name that much, but. Okay, long-winded, I'm out of breath, gotta go film, eat lunch. And okay, after some camera issues, we are gonna do, um, this food's marinating my belly. I, uh, we just finished dinner, so we're gonna do baby names we love but won't be using, and I feel the need to express beforehand that we do not Please do not be offended if we happen to name something that your child is named. We do not mean any offense by this. It is simply just not our style names. I think I have a longer list than you. Yeah, I didn't know you had a list prepared. Well, I just have like the list that I've been using like my whole life. Just kind of like general. Every time I hear a name, I like it. And I'd write it down. How about you start? Do you have a name that you like really wanted? No, nope, you need to start because I have no idea. Okay. Well, so, so maybe it's just a name of that I like, but we won't be using because Sam and I can't agree because that's the biggest 
reason why half these names didn't make the list. There's only like two names that I like like that I don't know that I'd ever actually use is Ian and Isaac. Daniel's middle name is Isaac? Yeah, and that's why I don't think we'd use Isaac. I think like, Daniel, I like the name I think Isaac. he wants to use Isaac, actually. Yeah. I know he had wanted a Daniel Isaac for a while, but then he said, I think I heard him say he wanted to go to just straight Isaac. Um, so, you know the saying, like, you never know how hard it is to name your kid, or you never know how many people you hate until you try to name your kid. I feel like that's all. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll share. So, first name I liked... Actually, it's the first name that we are going to go with our son, but I liked Theodore for his middle name. And see, I have a cousin whose middle name is Theodore. My grandfather's name was Theodore. So it's like I wouldn't... I know. I don't know. That's why I wanted it to be Theodore, because I wanted it after his pops. Um, okay. I also really fought for our child's first name to be what it is, and then also Jordan or Jessup as a middle name. No. <laughs> So my middle name was Jordan. That was the name that I dropped when I got married. Um, and then Sam's middle name is Jessup. I also fought for Jessup to be our son's yeah. name. Why don't you like Jessup? Because it has no, there's no purpose to it, no meaning behind it. I guess it's true, like his mom said she just liked Jessup. No, she told she, me the other day. There, you, there, there was, there was, a, was a, So I, I, was, I was born in Beaufort and they live next to, it was like next to, or she passed the street by the Naval Hospital that was it's like right. Jessup Drive or something, and it was named. The road is named after like an old general from wherever Civil War era, and she just drove by the road like the road name. Like that's the dumbest. Yeah. It's just. I it mean, it's, it's real like boring here. I'm sorry. Like from now on, you could almost say it's a family name because. And I swear, if one person tells me that I look 35 and you look 15, I'm gonna slap them. I'm gonna reach through and I'm I didn't shave yet. I got a little bit of a <laughs> some stubble. We are 10 months apart. Um, okay, so yeah, Sam was actually supposed to be Jess, or it was supposed to be Samantha. Mm -hmm. Um, they thought he was a little girl, and then I think because, just like our son, he, in the womb, kept his feet crossed the whole time, and, um, I mean, we have seen our son's stuff now, but we did a blood test, so we know he's a boy, but back then, I don't know if they didn't do it, or... It was like way more invasive back then. Yeah, was, so I don't his think mom they did it from your mom's blood. I think that the test was like they wanted to like go into the amniotic sac. Oh yeah, like they did the the, the fluid. CBS. I think is maybe how they did it. But he, she told us the other day. I think she was like 34, 36 weeks. She said he had like pink. It was up blankets. Like right at the end. <laughs> so maybe that was why like Jessup was one of those like. Oh, I really like that. But I did. I fought for Jessup. So I fought for also Jessup Michael because Michael is my dad's first name. And we went back and forth. And I think the problem with us not wanting to do a family name is we only want two kids. We've always known that. And I would prefer two boys. I think you would probably prefer two boys. I mean, we'll be fine if we have a girl. I'm scared of her if she is, but she'll, you know, she'll change the world if we can just survive raising her. But I would really be happy with two boys, so I think I have a lot more boy names, but we mm -hmm. we were just kind of struggling because we were like, okay, well, if we give my dad a namesake, we have to give your dad a namesake, and I was like, what goes with Kevin? <laughs> Nothing goes with Kevin, and um, so we kind of went back and forth, just like, should we do the namesake, should we not, and we kind of just decided, I think, across no for a lot of them. Um, so Jessup Michael off the table. I really fought for just Samuel Jessup for that one. Um, Jordan, all of them. Uh, Liam, why do you say no? To, why do you say no to Liam? I don't know how. There's not a nice way to say it. I like Liam because of the guy in 90210. His name was Liam. He was cute. See, not my first thought. Liam Neeson. Oh, but that's so cool. Liam Neeson. Oh, it's not man. like our kid's middle name is any better where it came from. So, okay, a lot of you guys have messaged me with your name guesses, and one of you messaged me the other day and said, I really keep wanting to call your baby Liam, which is funny to me because I always think that influencers are going to name their babies Liam, and I've never been right. Like, if, they, if they're if they having a boy and they don't announce, I'm like, oh, that's Liam. It's for sure Liam, but I fought for that one the other day. I even said, what about Liam for baby number two? No. And we are very undecided on baby number two's if he's a boy's name because our son we went back and forth by his name we'll get to that in a minute lincoln no absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> sam you have to like give a reason 
Lincoln is not a first name. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's a last name. Maybe a middle name if you're fancy. We're not fancy. It's not. It's not someone's first name. You're not providing any names. You don't have any. You always like come out of the woodwork with like or something crazy that we're like not cool enough. For. Oh, I did. I do like Marco. I like Marco. Marco. Mm -hmm. No, I like Brandon Parks and to call him Parks. I went to college with a kid named Parks. I don't. I don't mind the name did Parks, you? but it's not my favorite. Yeah. Hmm, I don't like it. Well, we also did decide to go Super with nice a guy. biblical name. Um, so I definitely feel like that set the standard in the next one. What he goes by will have to be biblical. I do not like Parker. I like Parks, but I don't, I don't like Parker. Okay, so four girls, and then we will actually share his middle name. Are you, so, are you kidding me with this? You never trust someone named after a city, state, or a town. Uh, says, well, says Jake, Jake Peralta. Peralta. Okay. Um, so the, we have obviously a girl name set aside. I won't be sharing that one, but a lot of the middle names actually go with Rose. That will be our daughter's future middle name if we have a daughter. And funny enough, every single female in my family likes roses at like a rose as a middle name. And so we all joked if we like all have our kids or if like we all have daughters and they're all middle named Rose, we're going to make them be a rose bush for Halloween. <laughs> my mom was like, what? I was like, yeah, we're gonna make our little girls be a rose bush because like I like the first name and then middle name Rose and then Caleb, I I Caleb and Bree no. have a rose. I would have said no to some of these names if I saw how you were spelling them to start with. Okay, so Aliyah, Aliyah Rose. That's the only one. I don't like super weird names that have like Y's in them. I feel like the Y's are overused. But, and I have a story behind this one and I will probably still fight for Aliyah if we have a little girl. Um, Salvador Dali is my favorite artist and I went to his um, actual museum in Spain and one of his lines is Elia and I remember that was the first time in my life I've ever actually felt moved by artwork was looking at the Elia line of artwork um, which was Salvador Dali's and so I really like the name Elia. The only thing is it is a little bit morbid so I would be hesitant to tell our daughter like Hey, your name's after like Salvador Dali's artwork, by the way. You know he's crazy, but yeah. Um, also, his like super graphic and morbid art line is what your name is after, but we really like it. I really like Florence, Collar Flo. Florence Pugh. I have a girl crush on her. Named after a city, state, or town. Florence Pugh's the girl from Black Widow. The one that was with Scarlett Johansson. She's hot. So, Florence Pugh. I like Florence and go by Flo. Medora, which was very low on the list because it was a family name, but it sounds like Midori. So we didn't go with that one. I also really like Collins and Pfeiffer. I like the name Pfeiffer. I, we both have always liked the name. And I like I think, Pfeiffer for a girl. I was gonna say, I think we both have liked Pfeiffer for a girl. So there's a good chance if we don't go with, if we have a girl, we have a couple names that I like with Pfeiffer, but Pfeiffer is in the running, like for sure. I think we both really like it. I, I only know a guy, Pfeiffer, but I could definitely see no, Pfeiffer I like, being... No, yeah, I like Pfeiffer for a girl. Okay, so let's finally tell you guys a little story about how we came to our son's name. And then I will tell you the story of how his middle name was actually found. And then Sam's going to lie to you and tell you what, what he claims is the reason. So we have had two names picked out for two boys for as long as I can remember. Like prior to us being engaged, we actually came up with our son's name before we were engaged. And immediately when we found out we were pregnant, we said, we want it. We, we know his name is this, which is the name that we're going with. And we had told a couple people and then we decided, okay, we're going to reel it in. We're not going to tell anybody else. And then Sam was like, he looked at me one day and he was like, I think I want to go with the other name. And I was like, well, crap, that's not, we already told people, but I, let's, let's think about it. So my thought I was like we'll, we'll go one whole day and we'll just that will be his name well the problem is I like the name personally because that was going to be my parents name if they if I had another little brother it is one of the names where it's like he'll have a first middle last but he will go by his middle name and Sam and I cannot agree and he wants to keep calling that like if we were to go with this name by its first name and I was like, that's, no, that's, it, it's not even the cool name. Like, it's such a cool name. And I was, I was like, no. So if we're, if we're not going to call it the way that, like, I have it, he would go by his middle name, then we're not going to use it. So 
ended up, we're going with the first pick. His middle name. So coming up with his first name was very easy. Very easy. Sam literally said, what was it your, uh... uh? My college advisor, his oldest son, was a teenager. Yeah, and that was his name. So they don't personally know anyone with this name. Uh, and it's it's just a really cool, simple name. It's, you know, not anything overwhelming. It's just, it's cool. And we don't know anybody who has this name. So I really fought for Theodore, Jordan, Jessup, James, all of these middle names that were so good. And Sam was like, mm -mm, I like Miles. And I was like, okay, so hear me out. And I like had this whole thing planned. So when I was in youth, there were these twin, I think they were twins. I don't know if they were twins. They were not twins. They were like very close in age. Their names were Patrick and Miles. And they weren't bad, but they were always into something. They were just the mischievous boys. Like every time you heard Miles, you like knew he was doing something he shouldn't be doing. And so I never liked the name Miles. I just didn't, it, it didn't, I just didn't like it. And that's our son's middle name. So. The name has been decided. At this point, I'm like, it's a middle name, we're not gonna fight over it. And then, one day, we're sitting in our friend's house, this is me, pre-pregnancy, us, we've not even been married for a year, and Sam, this was Christmas of 2018, Sam's friend gives him a cup that has the Atlanta United soccer players' names on it. And on that list, I see Miles Robinson. I was like, you want to name our kid after a soccer player? Nope, that's what Marco is after a soccer player. So he can claim that like Marco and all these other things that like, we're not cool enough for. Miles Robinson, so his first name is not Miles, it is his middle name. That is, that is a freaking, you can look him up. He plays for Atlanta United right now. And that is where his name is from and I don't care. Sam's just like, no, I like, like three Miles. Or four time MLS, all MLS defender. Okay, so he's good. That doesn't mean he's worthy of my child's name. But it does when he's younger than me. Oh, he is young. He's amazing. He's like twenty. He might be twenty-five, but he's like twenty-four. That what? is not why he's named though. That is well, Sam. No, 20, it is. 2018. She's right on the year because that's the year Atlanta United won the MLS Cup. That kid was not listed with a jersey number because he was still in the reserve team and didn't play. He was not part of the official team. He's on the cup. <clears throat> he's on the cup as a reserve Hold player on. from the youth. Or is he like zero, zero, I one? think it's XX because he didn't actually have a designated number. She makes this so uh, to continue this. This this guy, one of our friends, actually met him at the airport while he was traveling Who? to do some. Stephen. Stephen has a picture with him. Yeah. Does he? Him and another one of the guys. And the reason Stephen has a picture with him is because he was a kid playing for the youth. And it he was is like, now. This was like before he. Oh, it'd be an old photo if he posted it. You're not even. You're talking years to go back. All right, well, hold on. Steven's always had an Insta. I know he does. He, I think he's in his military uniform because he oh, was Oh, wait, I've seen that yeah, photo. He was, he was traveling, and he ran into the team. They were flying, I think, out of Atlanta, or they were flying back from wherever he was to Atlanta. Either way, the kid was not, like, he, he had a name. He was on the team, everything. He was still, like, one of the youth players. He was not, he was not famous. He was not, like, one of the starting players at the time. I really didn't know who he was mm -hmm. at the time. I'd pick the name because I like I like the name. Kara is acting all kinds of crazy today, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't know. I think oh, he does. He does have a number on here. I told you he has a number. Yeah, he's twelve. Yeah, but that's not a defender number. Robinson, that's a, that's comma, a reserve player number. Miles. It's a reserve player number. So if Sam ever says I didn't give him anything, I gave him our child's name after a freaking soccer player. Brandon Vasquez. That's the other one. He's it's Brandon Vasquez. Well, so it, this was the cup that I was. I, we were sitting at Kaylee's parents' house, and I remember I was looking at this cup, and I was like, "Oh, it's got everyone's names." At it's not what he's named after. It's Charlie what he's named after. So. You'd be better off saying he's named after Miles Morales. We've talked enough, but. Those are the names we like but won't be using. Clearly, this was an uneventful thing. We just have a lot of boy names that Sam just said no to for no reason other than he just didn't like them. Um, definitely gonna like, if we have a girl, Pfeiffer. But there's one name we have reserved for her. And the only reason why I could see the name that I'm not sharing, we would pick that one, is because her, the initial is the same as our son's initial, first initial, so. I do like the name Roman, too, for a guy. I have that on After my list in YouTube. Players, it. Yeah. Roman Berkey, Roman Widenfeller, bunch of soccer players. Roman Robinson. He sounds like a walking tool. 
Roman Nichols Robinson. Give him some ridiculous name. Now you know why we just, thank God we only want two, because we could not name more than two. Okay, thank you for watching this very long drawn out vlog with poor lighting quality and whatever, but those are the names we like, but won't be, used, or I like, but we won't be using for this baby or any babies that we, next baby that we have.